So this is equation uh, question 10. The internal and external diameter of a collar bearing are 200 mm and 250 mm respectively as shown in the figure here. And oil viscosity is 1.5 newton second per meter cube is filled between the surface of the collar and bearing which is T is equal to 1.2 millimeter. So the thickness here is 1.2 millimeter. Determine the power required to overcome the viscous resistance when the shaft is rotated at 180 rpm. So in this situation, so we found that the, the, the oil has actually acts on this area. So and then we must know that there are no so this is the shaft so mean at this area there are no oil because the shaft is actually looks like this so we have this this is the shaft and this is the collar bearing okay and this is the another uh, component of this uh, device so so the idea is you need to understand that the oil is actually occur at this one at this area so, so the, the center area is actually not filled with the oil so means that the area that filled with oil is actually shaped like a donut here so means that please be careful when you do the uh, integration so you need to make sure that you are not calculating the area of this one So we uh, list all the parameter. So this is the inner diameter. So this is the outer diameter. This is the dynamic viscosity. This is the rotational speed. So it is 180 rpm, and then the dy is equal to t. So and then this is okay. This, so this is the thickness. This is the area, and this is the relationship between the linear and rotational speed. So we could calculate the force by using this equation. So we have force is equal tau A. So and then we substitute the tau here is equal to, I'm sorry, the, the tau here is equal to mu times du dy. So and then we substitute the u here with the rotational speed. So that's why we have this one. Mu is 2 pi n over 60. And then we have the, the gap is the T here. Okay, so and then uh, we have the the a the area here is 2 pi r dr. So and then uh, we could simplify the equation as this one. So you, you may try at home. So and then uh, this is only the small part of the one. So and then uh, we get the, the torque here. Okay, the torque is equal to F dr. So and then we substitute the F here with what we get here. So and then uh, we integrate with dr. So and then if we integrate uh, for dr, Please make sure that the limit of integration is actually from R1 to R2. So the R1 is actually, the this is the R1 and this is the R2. So this is the R1 and this is the R2. So we do the integration with this limit. Means that the limit is not from 0 to R2. Okay. So this is wrong. So please make sure that you do the limit is from R1 to the R2. So and then we could get this equation. So and then we could calculate the torque. Uh, the, the power here is equal to torque times uh, omega. So and then we again we use the idea of 2 pi n over 60. So and then we could get that it is equal of this equation. We substitute the value and then we could get that the P here is equal to 100.46 Watt.